Welcome back. I'm your host. Man, this is a good pack. Time Twister not the best powered open, but Demonic Tutor, Mana Vault, and I even like Upheaval here. And Thran Dynamo. What if we hope on this Upheaval coming back? I'll send you a Subway cookie, buddy. Don't even tease. Subway cookies are banging. Ba 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 banging. Ba 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 banging. This is a tough pack, man. Demonic Tutor, I think, is the best card by itself because it's literally the copy of your best, the best card in your deck. Mana Vault's very, very good. Thran Dynamo is very, very good. I think we're going to take the Mana Vault. It keeps us open, and also, if we wheel Upheaval, it puts us in a good position to actually just play the Upheaval. Kind of like Teferi a lot here. I think Teferi's a really strong card to uh, to build toward. We could also take Demir Signet. I'm going to go with Teferi here. Ponder? Yeah, I'll take a Ponder. I could also take a Misty Rainforest, actually. I think Ponder's going to be a little better than a random blue fetch land. Maybe. Yeah, I'll take a ponder. Oh, I like a time warp a lot. Okay. Time warping it is. Could take Everflowing Chalice with the hope that a upheaval comes back, but I think we're just I think time warp is just strong enough to take, especially if we have any number of planeswalkers. Fun fact, at my old job, myself and a number of co-workers would go to Subway once a week or so for lunch. There was an older woman working there who would sometimes give me and only me free cookies with my sandwiches. Dang, that's hilarious. Oh, a Celestial Colonnade to go with our Teferi? I like that. I also like Fallen Shinobi, as you guys know, but I think we're just going to go with the the Colonnade here and try to be the blue-white deck that we believe we can be. I give people free cookies at the end of the night sometimes. At the end of the shift, we have to throw out the... I hate it when, when companies are like, well, we got to throw out the extras, but then they don't give them to people instead. Like, dude, just give them... Give them the, you're going to throw them out. No one is literally waiting their whole day for cookies that you're going to throw out anyway. I'm going to take Phantasmal Image here. Um, and no one who was going to buy the cookies originally Thank is you. suddenly going to wait until the end of the day to get them for free because you're throwing them out. And the only people who are going to do that are people who cannot afford them or really need the food badly anyway. True, Joey. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I really appreciate it, my dude. Keep the dream alive. Teamwork makes the dream work. Um, huh. well, I mean, Sower of Temptation, not terrible. Lotus Petal, kind of meh. Golgari Signet, not ideal. I'm just going to take Sower of Temptation here. We're just going to ride this blue-white train to the to the end of the line, like Captain America and, and Bucky. I'm with you to the end of the line. I think Thirst for Knowledge might be better than Wall of Omens. Maybe not, though. Wall of Omens actually might do exactly what we want it to do. Which is block. Thran Dynamo came back. That's fascinating. Upheaval did not. Worth noting. Still going to take Thran Dynamo. 
it's still a lot of mana. <laughs> I don't hate Lyra. It's totally fine. Totally serviceable, playable card. Banishing Light? Again, totally serviceable. I actually like Stone Cold Serpent a lot, though. Maybe we want Stone Cold Serpent. I think, I think Banishing Light's pretty replaceable. Yeah, I'll take a Shieldred. What the hell? I don't really like Felidar Retreat, but I'll take it. When I worked at Pizza Hut over half my life ago, I'd leave with free food at the end of every... Yeah, that's totally... That checks out. Ancient Tomb, huh? I think I like Riftwing Cloudscape here. Force of Negation is nice. I, I, I could see us taking Scrubland and being the black, the, the Esper deck again. I'm going to take Riftwing, though. I think Riftwing is just real sweet. Could take Strip Mine here. I mean, this pack's also not exciting. I think Impulse is the only card that I'd really consider taking, but Amiria's Call is actually just fine in a two color deck where you can actually cast it and it does put some pressure out there. But there's nothing more frustrating than like restaurants just throwing out food and like having a stern principle about giving it to people who, who like need it or can't afford it. Oh, Teferi Time Raveler is, is a banana. That is a banana banger right there. Hashtag two Teferis. Hold up here. T -t 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 Today, Junior, this riff wing should be in the two slot, which makes our curve look better. I'm building a deck on Archidect. I've never even heard of that. And was typing cards in the search bar and I typed Banana Banger. <laughs> Gotti. I mean, what well, problem is? Elspeth Conquers Death. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, so because we picked Teferi, the pick started slowing down immediately. Yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Uh, Council's Judgment is great. I like Ancestral Vision a lot, but, I mean, we already have Ponder and two Teferis and a Wall of Omens and a Sea Chrome Coast, which is a Banana Banger as well. That's a good one. We could have taken Condemn there. Condemn might even come back if there's enough cards. I don't know if there are. Um... I mean, Elspeth's pretty sweet. Nahiri's also pretty sweet, but we don't have any red, and I, I don't really feel like branching into red just for a Nahiri. I think Elspeth is also a fine 
wind condition planeswalker ashen rider i mean this is a pack where we have to branch into something so let's take ashen rider and see what we can do flicker wisp flicker wisp on elspeth conquers death or any of our planeswalkers are so rough actually this could be a decent flicker wisp deck all right well just gonna take tezzer right here i guess we have three and dino and mana vault it's, maybe it's not terrible here take agadim's awakening Oh, the Oblivion Ring came back. Not terrible. I mean, right now we have Elspeth, Council's Judgment, and Oblivion Ring, which are all similar effects, which is nice. Flicker Wisp, I hardly know her. That's... That's close. We live in a world where you can tap your Mana Vault, cast your Teferi off the one mana, bounce the Mana Vault with his minus, replaying it, and drawing... That's true, actually. That's actually not bad. Oh, the Condemn did come back, as predicted. <laughs> this is 18 cards, and plus we have an Amiri on the sideboard and two lands. Orzov Signet, huh? I actually kind of like Orzov Signet here. It does put us a little closer to playing Ashen Rider. Yeah, I want to take the Orzov Signet here. Cosima's actually kind of cool, too. I've actually thought Cosima was pretty decent. Oh, I'd love to take Azorius Signet. That's pretty sweet. I'm glad we got an on-color Signet that I can just put right in my... Just kidding. We're taking bribery because we have Mana Vault and Orzov Signet. <laughs> okay. Seems good. Love it. So I don't think we're Ulamogging. I do like Miscalc here. It's a Primeval Titan and a Through the Breach. Not bad. Yeah, I think Miscalc is good, though. I'll take a Miscalc. Well, I wish we were an opposition deck, though. That would be nice. Those would be the days that we made the biscuits in the morning. If we had Ancestral or Time Walk, I can see taking Spellseeker. I think we're just taking Shambling Vent here because, again, it fixes our mana for this Ashen Rider that maybe we play. I mean, Splicer is fine, but I'd rather just try to play this or even Shieldred as well. And if we can get like another black fixing land, it'd be sweet. See, it's not Legion's Landing and it's not Midnight Reaper. It's not mine, Zara. I think we're just taking Null Priest here as like a six drop. Oh, six mana Elspeth. That's pretty good. Commit to memory, also not bad. Jeez. Mm. Vindicate, also sweet. But again, we have Council's Judgment, Oblivion Ring, and Elspeth Conquers Death. Yeah, this card just wins games, surprisingly. Maybe it's not that surprising.
Badlands would be pretty sweet. You know, if we had a way to do anything with it. I kind of like animate dead here. The problem is none of our removal spells actually kill anything. Turnabout doesn't do much. I'll show the Fallen. Like, this is an interesting pack. Uh, animate, did we have a way to discard? Not really even, unfortunately. I'm still going to take it, but... Oh, Skyclave Apparition. Yeah, that's a... That's a winner. That's a wiener. Oh, the Cosima came back. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fine. Wow, Warren Power Stone came back? That's interesting. I feel like we're almost on the verge of a Tefri deck with Thran Dynamo, Warren Power Stone, Orzov, and Mana Vault. I don't think it's Eidolon. It could be Vampiric Tutor. Yeah, I'm going to take the Tutor. Armageddon. And Ulamog's pretty interesting here. Is this double black to kick? Yes. Eh, take Living Death. I'm not super sold on the black cards as of yet. This is 26, so we can easily just take out Null Priest, Children, National Rider, which actually puts us to seven creatures. But we do have two Elspeths and a Bribery. And Riftwing can go in the two spot. So that, that makes the curve look a little bit better. This is 23. Oh, wow, the Ravages War came back? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, do, 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 do. So our only black fixing is this and Orzov Signet. We're just going to play the Orzov Signet anyway, so. Uh, I could see Cosima coming into play here. God, I'm almost tempted to play both Armageddon and Ravages here. And we do get Amiria's Call. Oh, hey, little bud. Hey, little chief. What are you doing? Little Wallace Ray. I would actually, I would be, cons I would consider cutting both of these and playing Cosima. I just don't feel, I, I don't know what it takes. Maybe we play one of these. Everything else seems good. I think I kind of like it like this. Add the Amiria's Call. No Shambling Vent. Add the these two. Six and eight. Significantly more white. This is 10, 11 versus eight. I think seven, seven's fine. Because this is also, this is 11. Not, this is 10 white sources and nine blue sources, which I think is fine. Because we still have double blue, double blue, double blue here. 
And plus we have a Miria's Call as well. So yeah. I don't know if we should be just playing Armageddon and Ravages of War. I'm really bad at building Armageddon and Ravages of War decks. I think it's because I have such an aversion to the cards being played against me that, like, I find it harder to strategize with them, if that makes sense. I mean, also two Teferis, two Elspeths, a Bribery, a Mana Vault. Like, this deck seems very good. This is a slow hand, but Skyclave Apparition could do some work. Oh, I see. Lyra's coming in, guys. We're going to be Lyra in for sure. Let's get a Condemn. We did not get a Condemn. We got a land. It's unfortunate. How about a Condemn or a Wall of Omens? Those are what we're... Really, I would actually never play Abbott on turn two because if you hit a land, which is like 33%, even if you play it on turn three, you could still play a land and play that guy. Yeah, like it's just... There's so many one drops and lands in your deck that like, I mean, if you're playing 17 lands and probably like four one drops, let's say, in a, in a mono red deck, which we've already seen two, like this is already 19 cards you can play off this if you play it on turn three. So like half your deck is playable on turn three if you hit him with Abbot of Carol Keep. So it just feels really weird to play it on turn two unless you like really need that pressure, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Show me that smile again. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Show me. Show me that smile. No, 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 no. Man, it only crying. See, I really want to apparition the stupid Bowmat courier, but I think it's more important to get rid of the Ferocidon, to be honest. One, two, three. Apparition. We could also tap Mana Vault and got rid of both. Might have been good. Leaves them with three cards in hand. And, like, no no way to get more from the Bowman career. Because they may actually, like, draw a card, play a land, play a spell. Bowman courier, draw four, which is pretty rough. Let's see, there's one land. Here's a spell. Okay. They might even play one more thing. Yep. Attack for for four, and then draw four. It's pretty bad. Yeah, we... I mean, like... <sighs> yeah, I mean, like, we'd have a blocker. Like, we can block this guy. Like, I'm not sure what we can draw here, actually. They didn't draw cards? I guess, I mean, if we don't do anything next turn, they just draw another card, so. No, I don't really want to pay four to untap a, an untapped mana vault. One, two, three, four, five, six. We, if we had one more white source, we could actually Amiria's call here, which is kind of funny. I 
And now we have no targets for Elspeth Conqueror's death, but I didn't really want to use a mana vault on it. I think we're actually done here. <sighs> like, her hand is just not very good against them in this game. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Like, next turn they attack for like a million. Um, definitely bringing in Lyra. Probably taking out Bribery. Stone Coil Serpent seems fine. We can probably bring in Huntmaster. That guy seems pretty good against the red deck. Um, I don't actually hate Legion's Landing. It just blocks their guys and it gains us a life. Like it's not, it's not the worst. We can also blink it with Flicker Wisp to get a second one. I mean, Felon Archer Retreat's fine, but like it's a little slow. Like we don't actually get our first two two until turn five. Which is not ideal. Uh, I'll take out the Rand Dynamo, bring in Legion's Landing. We'll try it like that. Don't miss another minute on your cry. I'm going to play a Miria's Call first. And this is actually pretty good because we can go this guy into this guy. And then we have multiple plays here. Cast as the... No, do not take that damage. I'm going to lighting bolt myself. Baby, do a meal prep? Yeah. Okay. Wallace Ray, what are you doing? You come up here? Let me lift you up. It's your boy, Wallace Ray. What are you smelling? You smell the keyboard? <laughs> you smell the microphone? <laughs> okay. Let's have, let's have six, Wally. We're done with our turn here. Oh, are you, your mouth is all wet. Did you just have big drinks? Did you just do big drinks? Yeah, you did. What are you smelling? Well, it's Ray. Another on turn two? This is the second time you literally could play that guy for free on turn three. I don't understand. I literally do not understand this this second turn Abbot of Carol Keep strategy that we keep seeing. Wallace is wearing the T-Mobile scarf that, that they were giving out for free last week, yeah. He's too pure for this world, just so you guys know. Line up your hair so it's a continuous sheet of salt and... What does that even mean? Oh, with Wally. With both of us together. <laughs> See, that's funny. David, you're a funny guy. I actually think we want to colonnade here into Legion's Landing because then we can play Elspeth next turn. But I don't know, that seems kind of bad. No, that doesn't seem good. Because I want to just Skyclave this guy. And then I'll block here, and that's fine. We can have a 2-2 two -two next turn. Or we can... Yeah, that's fine. We could have taken Goblin Guide, but the potential to get a land out of that is just fine. Salt and Pupper. Wow, that's amazing. Mossy Beard. Jesus, you're a damn hero, my friend. Oh yeah, give me that land. I mean, this is fine. 
they got a two two, and I get a, a free. I got two free lands out of this deal. Rampaging Ferocidon. Well, we're gonna name. This guy just gets to come and play this turn. Next turn. Okie dokie, Smokey Artichokey. One, two, three. Gonna name you Ferocidon. Hope you don't have a Hell Rider in your hand. What do you name Ferocidon? Ferocidon. Gonna play my colonnade. Could have also played Island into Legion's Landing, but that seems worse. Okay, well, the fact that they didn't... Well, they're probably just going to kill my colonnade here. Colonnade! And, oh, they're not. They're going to cast something. What? 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 Uh, <sighs> oh, boy. What in the actual earth? I'm going to bounce this so they can't kill my guy, because then I can pump it. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Ale spip. We could have bounced this guy, but I wanted to take out their... It doesn't make any sense, but like if we tried to pump this guy and they did have Lightning Bolt, they might have done it in response. You know what I'm saying? You guys feel me? But I want to take this Koth out. Oh boy, guess we'll take two here. Yep, this is rough. Oh. I mean, we're just going to play Elspeth and make a bunch of dudes. And next turn, we can actually bounce the Vortex and then plus our Vampire and gain four life. That seems good. And we can either bounce it, we can tuck it with Teferi or just bounce it with a second Riftwing Cloud Skate. They did nothing. Four cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Teferi Tuck. Teferi Tuck. Let's pump this guy now. Bing, bing, bing. 
What up, Tavo? Yeah, make the soldiers now, just in case they have some shenanigans. And we still get a bunch of white mana. Ooh, that lifelink, though. So we're just going to pass here. Oh, no. Lightning strike our face. Okay, well, I'll go to 11. Still seems fine to me. <laughs> Soldier boys, tell them. Who's going to win this game? Not you! What are you doing, Wallace Ray? You thinking about it? Okay. Got Wallace Ray over here. Okay, anything cheap? I'm really tempted to just play an old priest off of Orzov Signet and a couple a couple lands with a shambling event, but that doesn't seem great. I think our deck is what it what it needs to be right now. What are you doing, Chief? Um, this could be fine. They have yet to mulligan, so. If we can top take just a white source for Legion's Landing, that's pretty okay. A couple life points could be all right. This is not their retreat, I thought it was. Yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, I think the card's good in, like, control matchups. But in this matchup, like, it's not until turn five where you get one, two, two. And it's kind of like, well, that's not as good. I thought my phone is cracked. Is the green screen to your left crinkly or something? Yes, it is. That is not your phone. Oh, do you see that flickering? Am I flickering? What's that about? Oh my god. I think I'm having a... What's going on? Do you guys see that? Do you guys see it? Well, they didn't play a one drop there, so that's kind of good for us, I guess. Yeah, that guy's fine. One is the lowliest note. That's how the vision and the kids went. <laughs> okay, buddy. Listen. Too soon. Okay. You can be as sad as one, but it's the loneliest number. It's the number one. Wow. Already vortexing, huh? Oh, we got an Elspeth Conqueror's death. I kind of want to steal this runaway steamkin. Never coming back. Give me a land. I need a land. Daddy needed a land. And you didn't give him one. And that's kind of sad. I actually want to play the... All right, let me disable it and let me let me let me see if it's I don't know if it's a camera issue. It might just it seems like it it would be because it's the only portion of the screen that's having an issue. Still doing it, huh? No okie dokie. That's cool. I wonder if I can minimize the stream and then bring it back up. Maybe that helps. I don't know. Yep. No idea why this is doing this. Sorry, guys. That's really amazing. Wow, that is really amazing. I mean, that's unwatchable.
interesting. Now it's okay. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I'm just passing here. We're not going to... You know what's funny? What happened there was I opened the Riot Games webpage to check out their job listings. And that's when it started going crazy. Here, I'll open it again. Watch this. Let's open it again. Just opening a web page. And yep, there it goes. Here we go. And look, it's flickering again. Let me close it. Now it's closed, not open anymore. Nothing's happening. That's wild, dude. Oh wow, that's that's great for us. Look at that. It's literally it's just a web page opening up in the background. Yeah, we're just gonna take three here. Cause if we counsel's judgment, we can get rid of the sulfuric vortex and then also gain a life <sighs> this is fucking obnoxious dude really can't hit a third land huh okie dokie this is really frustrating I mean, I could literally just copy this with a Phantasm image. It seems really bad. We can also make a 1-1. One, one. None of those seem good. So they can actually go add 3. I mean, I'm just going to chump block now. I don't understand... I guess that's, I guess that's, oh yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. It's only four, so they can't play the dragon. I don't know why you played Bomat Courier first. Like you could have literally played Abbot of Carol Keep off of two, hit a land, and then went one, two, three, four, five, played Goldspan Dragon. Like that seems so much better than having a Bomat Courier that you're not even attacking with. <sighs> so weird. Yep. And then you could have still played Bomat Courier off of the clue you got, the treasure you got from... <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So we can play... The only thing we can play here is Sower. So let's play a Sower, I guess. Steal this idiot. Use that mana. Yep, you got it. What is the loneliest number that you'll ever do? Oh, they just wasted it. Use it or lose it. That's what I always say. Need, need really need a white source here, but... I mean, it's definitely why you draft mono red, for sure. Here comes Slender Maw Hellkite, tap down this guy. Solus Conscripts, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna be the end. Cool. This is a fun match. And in no way fucking completely bullshit. But uh, what are you gonna do? What can you do? I mean, the technical issue was resolved like 15 minutes ago, so I think we're good.
it's just really difficult going uh one two against mono red when they misplay literally every single game and um you just can't draw your fucking lands like <sighs> god what can you do oh i think they replaced thundermaw with gold gold span dragon i guess wow this hand would be amazing against the last round condemn your first threat ponder stone cold serpent on three like I mean, maybe on four because, you know, three damage burn spells, but still. Good luck, Mr. Dubs. We have nothing to do on, like, turn two or three. Three. I guess we have something new on three. Eh, none of these are really. We already have two lands. I don't need two more lands. We're gonna shuff. Flicky wispy. Deal. Uh, Katie is on the phone right now, so. Interesting. I always like being able to blink that guy for, for some value here. Well, that's not bad. I'm not going to play anything anyway, so. Hold on, let me shut the door, actually. <laughs> I think it's pretty easy to hear things on the phone out there, so. Oh, I'll go to Ravages of War in the graveyard. I like that. Interesting. Oh, I like Wall of Omens here. Kind of like Wall of Omens, Flicker with Wall of Omens. That creature doesn't have any thumbs. You friggin' weirdo. Ooh, a mana vault. <laughs> Young Pyromancario. I mean, we're definitely going to be... Oh, okay, cool. Are you going to get to copy it? Oh, it might just get countered. That would be sweet. They lost the flip? Oh, baby, that's good stuff. That is the good stuff. Yeah, let's go land. Oh, time warp. So, one, two, so this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go Stone Coil Serpent for three, time warp, Teferi. Huh. Fortunately, Elspeth conquers death. Not looking great here. Eh, I still kind of like that, though. So we're going to go one, two. Mana Vault with the black. Three, four, five, time warp ourselves. 
One, two, three. Stone coil for three. And attack you. Yeah, we'll just take a point here. I mean, the shrine is fine. We have Tefri right here. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting. Two, three, four, five. Big Teferinos. Tuck this stupid thing. I think we're just going to pass here. Okay. They lost the flip again. <laughs> what is this weird elemental token? <laughs> elemental is red. Did they win the flip? Let's see. 0 for 3 on flips. Okay. I mean, they're making a lot of tokens, which is fascinating. Oh, they won the flip. Two firebolts. Got him. And Teferi. Yep, that's the that's the ticket. No attacks. But, pump that guy at instant speed, at sorcery speed. Okay. Oblivion Ring. Does that do anything against this board? Not tremendously. Just attack for four in the air. I'm kind of wishing we attack with Flicker West, put them to eight, because then it's a two turn clock with. Uh, with Celestial Colonnade. I still think that's correct. I and mean, we have two blockers and we can still keep up Condemn, so. And we know they should be drawing Shrine here. Oh no, but they're going to play something else. It's going to be a Hell Rider, isn't it? Oh, Showdown of the Scalds. Sure. Uh, Mountain, Goblin Guide, Sulfuric Vortex, Shrine. Seems good. So we're basically playing against a very similar deck as we were last round. I'm, I'm likely going to Oblivion, Oblivion Ring Showdown just because being able to put counters on your guys is pretty strong. Are they just not going to attack again? I feel like you have to attack here. I feel like we get rid of Pyromancer and block the figure of Destiny and the Krark. Take three here. Actually, this guy on board does, does morph against us, so... Still not going to untap this. Oh, there it is. So we can actually just play Amiria's Call. We know they have Shrine and Vortex, which we don't really care about. 
Yeah, we're just going to play Miria's Call here. Don't think we're attacking, though, because it just doesn't do anything. I'd rather just have four blockers. I mean, they have, they're limited by their mana. They only have four lands. Or five lands, rather. They could have six total. So I'm going to put them on two, at most, three spells. And doesn't matter. All right. Once again, we're going to put Lyra in here. Bribery seems like it could be better in this matchup than it was. <sighs> Sorrow of Temptation seems a little suspect. It's Legion's landing again? I don't know. They made a bunch of tokens. Um... Felidar Retreat does not gain life, no. Do they, are they 2-2 two, two lifelink? If they're 2-2 two, two lifelink tokens, then I, that, that actually might change my opinion. And I might be an idiot. Uh, yeah, they're just two two cat, two two white cat beasts, and they gain vigilance. Yeah, that's yeah. If they if they gave life link, I would just be like, wow, that's what what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? Oh well, got me under your spell, and I don't think that I'm kidding around. Don't think I could forget you now. I once sat up on my roof, examined the planning of my town. Okay, another five drop. Saw the structured granite pavement cutting through grass. Remember the cold of winter running up the legs of my pants. That's a saves the day song. In case you guys didn't know about, didn't know about saves the day. This song's got to be like 20 years old, man. Uh, I'm probably just going to get rid of the guy that deals us three damage a turn. Oh my god, are they going to disenchant this thing? What? Wear tear? I, yeah, I saw them live, god, probably like 20 years ago, dude. It was probably like 2001. Oh, well. I wish I could draw a four drop or another, you know, thing I could play. Maybe like a Skyclave Apparition would be nice. They have one card in hand. Yeah. I'm afraid they're going to draw three with Bomag because we don't really have a good answer for it. Yeah, my problem with the 0607 stuff is that Chris Cornell's... Chris, Chris Connell's voice really changed. Um, so this is three. So we do it now. Next turn, it's two and we play a spell. Next turn, it's one and we play a spell. I actually think it's correct to suspend this guy. What do we take? Three, four? We take six here? Ugh. I guess if they don't have anything, Lyra really does put the kibosh on their plans. I mean, I'm just hoping they don't, uh, I'm kind of hoping they don't uh, draw Sulfuric Vortex. And, or they do draw it off of the Bowman Courier and then they try to play it. And then we get to counter it and then we get to play Lyra. 
and they don't have an answer. That's really what I'm. Th that's that's all I want. They're gonna definitely draw three here. Goodbye, Beaumont Courier. Oh, they're gonna firebolt us. Oh well. Interesting. All right. Let's see what you got. I mean, they could firebolt us for two. They have no cards in hand. They got to draw with Bowman. I would probably draw now because, oh, interesting. Well, the reason is because if you get a card that's not a land. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, dear. What is this? What is happening? <sighs> Fucking eye roll. Cool. Oh, I top decked a bane fired by deck. Oh, what a fucking year of four. I have exactly five mana. Oh, boy. Sure, I'll keep this. My cup runneth over with Sprite. <laughs> Solid. Love it. All right, this is the match where we actually can't draw any more lands. Mm. Give me a planes. Fucking cool. Thanks, bro. Yep, it's your boy. It's your boy, Rabble Daddy. What's going on here? I got the CSU residency. Hello? I just called. They just called me. While I was roasting my vegetables. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, residency? Yeah. 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 Sorry, I know you're playing. I don't care. Playing magic. Oh my god. But your heart is racing so fast. I know. Oh my god. I know. I'm so excited. Are you okay? Did you have a stroke? I'm so relieved right now. I know, I almost peed my pants. In the kitchen. Oh my god, that's amazing. I don't even have that's to. That's actually amazing. Yeah. I kind of want to go now. <laughs> well, maybe you should. So I said, which CSU? <laughs> How many are there? Colorado State University. Yeah. Well, I guess we're she staying in Colorado. She was like, as long, as long as my people can talk to your people and they can make an agreement or whatever. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, I don't care about all that. <laughs> and she was like, well... We do. <laughs> okay. Oh, did you actually say that? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and then she said, we do? Oh, my God. Oh, God, that's not what I want to do. I don't even care anymore. I'm just, like, literally on autopilot right now. Did you tell Michael? No. <laughs> He's not deaf, so he knows. <laughs> Okay, go, go, go. Oh, 
Oh my god. Hey. Hi. That's also where Jake and Cass are going to be, right? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And I don't think that I'm kidding around. Oh my god, dude. Let's bounce this 3-3. Three, three. Let's bounce this 1-1. One, one. Let's bounce all the things. Wow, I'm like blown away right now. I don't even know what's happening in this game. I'm just kind of like playing the things that I draw. We want to hit more lands though, so. Uh, they can have hasty things. I'd rather keep Teferi a lot. Oh, never mind. We don't even get to attack with this guy. They can't do that. I've got Teferi in play, bro. Oh my god. So we can go Mana Vault into Elspeth here. Let's do that. Okay, two Planeswalkers. Wow. Guys, for yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Katie just found out she was accepted for a, resident, a veterinary re residency at Colorado State University. So, And we're in Colorado now, so our move is going to be uh, pretty, pretty small. And I'm uh, kind of excited about it, so... <laughs> Okay, so they can actually kill a token. They can't kill two Planeswalkers. They can just kill one. And then we can f Council's Judgment, the stupid glory bring. No, we can Elspeth Conqueror's Death, that thing. Uh, no. I'm just going to take that. Oh, my God, Affinity. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. Going on here. I got the CSU residency. <laughs> I got it. I just called. They just called me. It took me like five minutes to process it. While I was roasting my vegetables. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Residency? Yeah. 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 Sorry. I know you're probably. I don't care. Playing magic. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, your heart is racing so fast. I know. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh man, good times. Uh, Lightning Helix on whom? No one, because of stupid Krark. <laughs> Man, Krark is just like, Krark has no chill, dude. Oh, man, dude. That's wild. Mm. 
All right. One, two. All right. Let's finish up this bad boy. Oh my God. <clears throat> Thank you. I will play first. Hey Frank, now we have a sub baby. In all seriousness, your stream has helped me through the toughest time in my life after mom's death in August. Dude, I'm so sorry, buddy. Utter Pelon. Oh, that was last year, no less. Utter Pelon, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the support, man. And I'm really glad I could help. I will keep this hand. Okay. Oh, I like that guy. Wall of Schmomans. Wall of beautiful moments. <clears throat> what are the omens that this wall is bringing or, you know, foretelling? What do you think, guys? One, two, three. I'm just going to bounce the elder, I think. Or... Yeah, we'll just bounce the elder. <clears throat> if she has a way to get rid of the wall of omens, then we just lose our Teferi in this way. It's it's fine. Are you from Cleveland? No. Oh, what up, Badger? Uh, Floopy Binks is also a Magic the Gathering streamer. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, God. Hex Drinker actually scares me. Less so right now. I think we have to get rid of Hexy Boy. Otherwise, that thing will kill us. <clears throat> I guess we could have realistically Elspethed it. Elspethed. <sighs> oh, dear. <laughs> there was actually she made a question of whether she should pick natural order or something else on on one of her on one of her uh on Twitter once. And I was like, you always take natural order. Uh boy. Yikes. I mean, I guess we're hoping we're still we're still on the Elspeth train here, so <clears throat> okay. Oh, that makes me sad. I mean, nothing we can really do about that. Um, <clears throat> see that I don't like that. I will counter if it was like a, an elder Gargaroth or something, I would definitely let it resolve. But <clears throat> right now we're just going to have to play this. Woo. Okay. Got some breathing room at least. She still has four cards in her hand. We have three. Next turn we can go Signet. One, two, three, four. Make a five, five. And then we can go Miria's Call after that, which is kind of good. Why does a mermaid wear seashells? Because she outgrew her bee shells. <laughs> oh, dear. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh, we did know about that guy, so that's okay. Interesting. Make them, make them, them champions. Let's go Siggy. I think we actually just want to keep Cloud Skate for safety reasons. Like, it's just a nice little... Whereas, like, right now, we don't have ways to deal with many things. So, I'll just make a 5-5. Five, five.
Oh, beast shells and seashells. <laughs> he got it. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm actually kind of scared of this elder because she could just crack it, get two lands, and then, you know, then there's a whole come at me bro movement happening. Oh, boy. I mean, bouncing, yeah, that's not great. I, there was a time I considered it because I'm like, well, then you just have to replay it, which is actually not the worst. These guys are all indestructible, so you're either going to lose plants or just take the damage. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Elspeth might not survive. Well, I guess you can take three plant hits, right? So that's one, two, th three, four, five. We block five things and we have six blockers, so. I have a tax return coming. Kerr, what you want? You in on this stupidity? What does that mean? <laughs> What's happening right now? Oh, dear. Insomnia is terrible, but on the plus side, only three more sleeps till Christmas. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's such bad insomnia. Oh, I like that guy. That guy. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I mean, we're just going to attack with two angels. Big Tiffs. All right, I'm going to tuck this guy. And that should be good, unless she has Crater Hoof, in which case, then we die. They always have Crater Hoof, though, so. Yep, here we go. If you needed one turn, you're never going to get it. <sighs> I felt so good, too. I was like, this game, we got it. All you need is Crater Hoof. Anytime. What is this? Uh, 60, 74 damage? I guess we did. Die. Yep, that's a thing, alright. Okie dokie. It's a thing. That is a thing. I mean, like, if you ever feel good about a game against the green deck and you're like, oh, I can just win next turn, you're just going to die to Crater Hoof. So it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to think of what we could have done to avoid that, and I, I just can't actually think of anything, really. I don't think Lyra's any better than any of the other creatures we have in our deck, and I, I don't want Geddon. Like, Geddon's actually actively bad against the green deck because it doesn't usually hurt them a tremendous amount when they have... And we already saw, like, four um, mana creatures, so... Not plagued against her? What does that mean? Not played against her? What does that mean? I don't know what's going on. Oh, not play. That's that's the out to Crater Hoof. Yes, that is correct. That that would have that would have saved us. I mean, I'm legitimately trying to think of like what we could have done differently to avoid the Crater Hoof. Right now, I'd like any land. Sea Chrome Coast would be great off the top.
Uh, in paper, if you blink a creature with another creature and you just keep doing it, like, uh, you announce how many times you're going to be doing it. Because you don't have to choose those targets. Like, you fell out of guarding, you can just blink a land. So you're not, you're not stuck in a, in a lock. And rest those a May ability, right? So like they're both May abilities. So like you're, it's not like you're in a situation where you're like, well, I have to actually do this every single time. So you say, I'm going to do this 1 million times and then you do it 1 million times. Or you don't technically do it 1 million times. It happens 1 million times and then you move on with the game. If you can demonstrate a loop in magic, what you do is you announce how many times you're going to complete the loop. And then, I mean, it's not slow play because you're, you're playing at a normal pace of, 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 of the game, <laughs> you know? So there's so many things happening right now. They're just not on my side of the board. Hey, there is that sea chrome coast. Just a little later than normal. Let's actually play Cosima here. I mean, if we play Tefri, it's just going to die. And Cosima actually blocks both of these guys fairly well. Well, you can't keep doing it. That's the thing. Like, they, like Magic has rules in place that you can't just sit there and be like... Like, that's why with Splinter Twin, you don't have to actually say, okay, I'll untap. I'll make a, t a copy. The copy will untap. Then I'll tap and I'll make a copy and the copy, like you don't do that. Like no one, that's not how magic works. You know, like you just say, I'm going to make 14 copies because I demonstrated the loop and then you do it. Here comes natural order. No, it's five mana. Nope. It's four mana now. Oh dear. <sighs> Yep. Well, it's all happening now. Well, yeah, if you, oh, definitely if you repeat the loop. Yeah, that's, that's for true. Can't, nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Okay, so we have two turns to draw an answer and a way to cast the answer. Council's Judgment. That's a thing we could do. Okie dokie. Did she play one of these forests? Uh, Reels plays. Okay, so we only have one forest in hand. Yep, let's cast it. I can't hit Progenitus, you guys. You guys are sure? <clears throat> well, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. This is what happens when you're priced into hitting a land here. Do, 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 do. Boo, do. I mean, we have like one top deck. Eh, we're just attacking. <laughs> oh, boy. She's like, I don't even care about your Tefri anymore. <laughs> this is a two-turn clock. And I'm like, it sure is. Yep. All right. So I guess we're one, two with this deck, unfortunately, but that's life. Oh, and now they now now we're just actually dead. Okay. We have no answers to a progenitus right now. <laughs> oh. 
It's actually hilarious because we could copy the progenitus. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. Thank you. Oh, man. Badger with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yep, all right. <laughs> Good times. Well, guess the one-two streak is back, guys. What can you do? Oh, God, are you just going to play Crater F2? Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, my God. Badger with multiple gifted subs. I appreciate you. Thank you, buddy. 15-15? It's not even that impressive. Trade. Block. Yep. That'll do, huh? That'll do. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons and be sure to support the channel if you take pity on a poor 1-2 streamer who cannot uh, win a match to save his life. We'll see you next time.